Um, I have a beautiful 11-year-old daughter, Rosa, who was born with a progressive um, brain disease, which um, means that she is profoundly disabled. Um, we are an outdoor family. We love doing outdoor activities, particularly on the water. Um, so when we first heard about Trevassic Lake, it piqued our interest and we thought, right, I'd like to know more about this. Um, doing activities with, uh, with Rosa is difficult. Um, there are plenty of opportunities. Um, there's some wonderful organisations out there that provide um, opportunities for disabled people, but usually they assume or need or require a degree of ability. Um, children like Rosa are absolutely, totally dependent um, on their carers, on us. Um, we have to do absolutely everything for Rosa. So when uh, I met Jonathan and he was describing the, the idea for the concept for Trevassic Lake, I was intrigued to hear that it was to cover all abilities from completely able-bodied um, normal people to right up to, to very high dependency children like Rosa. Um, holidaying with Rosa is also um, tricky. Um, so again, anything that offers the degree of support that Rosa needs is, is of you know, huge interest to us. Uh, Rosa has a, um, a fully able-bodied sibling, um, Ethan, who is two years younger. He, his life is um, out of necessity, uh, dominated by Rosa's needs. Um, Rosa's needs and care do dictate you know, absolutely everything. Um, the plans I've seen for the lodges look amazing in terms of managing Rosa's physical and medical needs whilst giving us, um, as her parents and her brother, the opportunity to enjoy the setting at Trevassic Lake. So anything outside of the school um, that can help, um, that can provide for the very high dependency children is marvellous because it's, it's so few and far between to find anything outside of school that, that Rosa can participate in, um, particularly you know, with, with her school friends.